What's up, Terrifics? Here at Toy Fair 2019, I've got Anthony Snyder. You know him from Selling Heroes, and of course, this gentleman, Todd McFarland. Yeah, good to see you, McFarland again. Toys. Good to see you. It must be another Toy Fair that you and I are together again. So we'll walk through some of this uh, pretty quickly. Some of the stuff we've got coming out. Some of the stuff we've got uh, down the pipeline. Uh, we've got the Game of Thrones coming out. Uh, this will be releasing in April when the, uh, the the next season, season eight, comes out. So we, you know, we try to coordinate it when people are sort of on their high of one of the brands. We try to release at the same time. So we've got you know some of the characters. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of monsters. So we, you know. We've got this guy right here, the Night King. He's cool. Bringing some of the dragons back. We're gonna we're gonna bring some of the dragons that people like. So that'll be coming out uh, season eight, in April, July, uh, season three coming out. Uh, Stranger Things. So we'll we'll just keep pushing this one on as it as it comes out and everybody sort of gets excited with it. And then we go into sort of interest and odd little corners. Sometimes we just do stuff. Because it's just fun to do. There's a bit of a nostalgia to it, right? Mm -hmm. So, right, David Bowie here. We came out with our first one here, Jareth, and when he was the Goblin King, and and it sold, and we and made some more, and it sold, and we made some more, and then we go, ah, you know what? He more, he wore more than one outfit during the film, so now we're gonna do another one of him, and you get a little cool little guy here. The hair is awesome. If you get in close, it's super awesome here. And we're going to do him, try to get the likenesses of it. We've been doing for a while, uh, like anime and manga and stuff like that. So we're going to continue to do all of that. So we've got Naruto, uh, One Punch Man is cool. Hero, my Hero Mac Academia is starting, the, the buzz of that one's starting to grow, right? So we got this one and in 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 getting good feedback here at the Toy Fair. This one's coming in here, but... I mean, even if you don't know what it is, that's cool, right? I mean, again, this is the thing I keep telling people. Never underestimate, even if you don't know the logo, the cool factor, because we were all seven or eight-year-old one time, and you were walking down the aisle, and a lot of times you just pick stuff because it just looks good. Mom, can I get it? It just was a robot or a gorilla or a car that was purple with flames. I don't care what it is. These, these costumes, this guy looks pretty good. Who doesn't want a guy with a hand across his face here? I've got a five-year-old Jack, and, I mean, he would go, oh, that's awesome. W what is it, Jack? I don't know, but it's awesome. It's awesome. Oh, right, and that's not even painted. Wait till you get the, all the colors on it, right? Again, never underestimate primary colors on any kind of plastic good, right? It all works. Do you still oversee all of this? Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah yes. You know why? Because every one of these boxes has got my name on it, right? And so I'm going, dude, you're not putting something out that I don't get to sign off on because at least if they don't like it, then they get to blame me, right? And so I don't want something that is out there that I wouldn't buy myself. So, Is there ever a time that something went out and maybe it didn't work yeah. out and you went back to yourself, well, maybe I didn't give it enough time. I yep. was running around with the kids and I just yes. didn't look at it good All enough. All the above. All the above, right? Life, life and making toys is a very imperfect sort of exercise and so do I have some toys that turned out way better than I thought they would yes and do I, do I have some that turned out less than I had hoped for yeah you know I I think the neuroses of being an artist is what keeps you going and drives you because you, you you when you see something great you go so it's possible but the thing that really drives you is the one that didn't turn out good and you go I'll never let that happen it's like striking out with the bases loaded yes. I'm going home and I'm practicing and I'm never going to strike out with the bases loaded again you don't worry about the grand slam that you might have hit two weeks earlier it's the strikeouts that embarrass you so you go I'm not going to strike out anymore we're going to get up there and do it I so, play poker and it's the bad beats that I remember not the big hands right. that I won oh, only the bad beats so Mortal Kombat, Hollow Knights, Elder. This is, you know, some of the cool. Can I ask you something yeah. about the Mortal Kombat? That's a cutout that you have in there. Yes. That's art. Now, does that take you back to your original toy show where you just did the cutouts yeah, so in your box? Right. So let's talk about. Look at when I went to my very first yeah. uh, toy fair. I had a box and a cutout. This is it. What you see here is all I had in a six by six booth. I just had this. So about and this I'm much space. Yes, right and I'm just That's trying. Cool. I'm trying to flog, and I what got. What character was it? Spawn. Spawn. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Spawn. So I, I started the company based on Spawn. So I go, okay, we're going to put it out here. And, and people are going, you got any prototypes? No. 
but it's going to be really cool when you see it, right? So I was bad at it. And then here's what I tell people, because I, I, I talk to groups with the business. You, you have to have dumb luck to follow you every now and then. And my, my dumb luck, my dumb luck was I'm in the 6x6 booth in a room that had 20 to 30 6x6 booths. And at that time, going back to 1984, the biggest toy buyer was Toys R Us. And the buyer of Toys R Us walks into the room. And it's like the Pope, and there's a hush, and there's a hush, and everybody stops, and it's like, and th- and then it became like a, like a general, and then everybody snaps out for front inspection. Yeah. for inspection, <laughs> and you and it was I was I didn't I didn't know it was my first toy fair, and I'm watching everybody, and they all jump out in front of their six by six booth, at ease, and you're like okay, you're gonna stand to attention until they tell us to relax, and then the Pope comes, the general comes, and I was down the hall. And I'll never forget it. I mean, to this day, I just saw. And as he walked by you, if you didn't stop, he wasn't buying anything. They deflated. They deflated. Right? I, yeah. I'll never forget it. I'll never just go, do, do, do. And the people behind him, as he kept coming closer to me, it was like, oh, my God. And then for whatever reason, he stops in front of me. Now, why did he stop in front of me? Now, this, mm-hmm. for any of you that are listening, this is dumb luck, and you have to have this as a steady companion. Did he stop because he was a, a common? book geek of course not it was an older man did he stop because he liked fine art and detailed toys of course not i didn't even have a prototype was he a geek no was he a collector no why was he there because standing next to that man was a 22 year old assistant and the 22 year old assistant was a comic geek and he turned to him and said boss this is the guy i've been telling you about in the character that's at the top of the charts and he the boss was way more practical and he just said, can you get it to me on this date at that price? I didn't know, but I said yes to both those questions. Always say yes when opportunity knocks. Oh, of course I can. Open and, the door. And, <laughs> and, they, and he said, if you can do that, I will put you store wide. Now, remember, Toys R Us at this, That's at a this thousand moment. thousand stores? Th- uh, yeah. Two thousand? Uh, yeah. It was, it, it, Everywhere. Again, and they're all, the biggest toy buyer. All of it. So now, here's where the dumb luck starts to domino. Now, all of a sudden, couldn't get uh, a meeting at Walmart. Now you get to walk into Walmart and you go, I just thought I'd tell you that your major competitor sells more toys than you, is putting this thing in called Spawn and every one of their stores. And their answer is, oh, what do they know that I don't know? Okay, I'll take it, right? And then, and then you go to the next one, you go, now Toys R Us and Walmart, and it just becomes easier and easier. And next thing you know, you're in and you're going worldwide with a cardboard cutout because if that assistant next to him is collects anything other than comic books, right? Then you go, maybe I'm only a toy fair for one year and now we're talking about something else completely. I don't know you, but these are these moments you just have to have. So, so I don't have to be the most skilled. You just have to get a little bit of those forks in the road to go your direction. That's an amazing story. Thank well, you so true. much. It's, it's, that's true awesome. on top of it. It's phenomenal. And, and it is, I've, I've heard it before, yeah. it's wonderful. Uh, and I think it's amazing that people can get their start here at Toy Fair and, and look at what we have here today. Well, well I, I would say I'd be even more encouraged so anybody's got an idea out there if you can rustle up the idea I think ideas everybody's got them the money becomes the second part but there's an equalizer right now it's called the internet right and back when I was starting if they didn't put it on their shelves there was no real outlets for me I was going to be done I was going to be done in that first toy fair but now if you walk around here and everybody all the big people come and say I don't like your toy I'm not going to do it who are you you're a nobody you can still go and build a website and sell it direct to a consumer and you can cut out all like we live in a world where we're we're all it, it's kind of all equal all to all some degree and now if you can the hustle put out a quality product at a good price who knows every now and then one of yours will bubble up and you become the next hot thing it's cool it is it's pretty amazing so again video so so video stuff borderlands call of duty been doing that right look at this one if you guys should get in this wow, one what detail this, this guy's amazing. cool right again i know you don't like army stuff whatever but that guy looked good on the desk that guy would look good on the desk i don't care where you're at he'll look good on the desk right destiny is always looking here's the thing about destiny which is awesome and i and i had destiny people in yesterday i go the thing that's cool about destiny to me the most which is different than something like call of duty call of duty is going to sell because you got this logo because you know you got a lot of people in in sort of normal clothes 
This one, I could hide the logo, and I could still sell a decent amount of those toys because they just look, they look like cool robots, and if I'm a seven, eight, ten year old, I would still buy that going, I don't care what it is, Destiny, Demetri, I don't know what it is, Mom, but I'm buying it because it's a cool robot. And then us geeks will go, ah, oh, it's good looking and it's Destiny, that's a combo. So. We, we got that coming. Um, this one was a surprise. This one is a little bit of a surprise, right? Now, again, it wasn't, it, it was this steady, we put it out, and then they went, oh, it's sold, can you get us more? And we put it, and they go, oh, it's sold, can you get it? Now, again, no, they never ever took like a giant bite at any one time, but if you take a lot of small bites of an apple, eventually you're at the core and you're finished, right? So so this guy just been sort of the, just been chugging and hitting, this is Ichiro, this is a lot of singles. Next thing you know, he's got 264 and he set the record. Record, yeah. and you're going he's pretty good right here this this is this was our King Kong here for a couple years right it's still going strong uh, this little tiny app game that basically blows up and gets giant um, and so we sold gobs and gobs and in some cases some of the stuff we were doing was in the top 10 sometimes the top five with the Lego stuff right they're the the 800 pound they're so big you can see how big their blocks are right there right so like that's how big they are their blocks are 800 times bigger than mine you can just see them floating there to look at them all day long but um, I think there's an opening and I keep saying that in the in the construction aisle I'm, I'm picking up some fun stuff this is one we're gonna pick up uh, King features and in, in the syndicate there are, have this game as an app game I don't know if you've seen it it looks a little bit if you saw it, like it appeals the, to me the steam, being a steam, Las Vegas kid the I'm steam, like no, it's but got the steam nice. <laughs> if you look at that yeah. old style old, uh -huh. like Popeye style cartoons mm -hmm. from way back when when none of none of us was a lie but it's just this funny look that now it's becoming so retro it's kind of hip cool and then the and then the thing that was fun is that the people that we were licensing from literally did new artwork for the boxes so that so this is original artwork that they did so that it would fit the size of our box wow i go wow dude that's cool and then and then even if you don't know what it is who doesn't want a little funny little guy that that's got a head for a cup right a i just coffee it's, cup for a head. it's goofy it's goofy. makes you smile and it's yeah it got little mickey mouse sort of colors and stuff big eyes like it's fun it's fun stuff uh um, so yeah crunch. and then and then you've got fortnite you brought fortnite into the fold Fortnite, right? So we got this little game you guys might have heard of, and we're all crossing our fingers and hope that it actually gets popular out there in the world. Every now and then you get lucky, right? And and Fortnite is this thing that's turned into a phenomenon, literally a phenomenon. Were um, you in early and, on the license? And, yeah, we were. Yeah, right at the beginning. I mean, I, like a lot of big license, they don't necessarily license at the beginning, right? We were there. They didn't do it at the beginning of uh, Walking Dead. They didn't do it at the beginning of things like Halo. And and they didn't do it even with things like Destiny and that. And then eventually they go, hey, we got to smash it. People are asking for it. There's a bit of a, a hunger for product. Why don't we go do some licensing? And then we basically come in the back door and we basically get some. So some this is big cosplay stuff. But the fun stuff, you know, our sweet zone, if you will, is over here, which is sort of, you know, our cool premium premium but, action but figures. The big cosplay stuff is super cool, though. Oh, yeah. Wow. What are you talking about? The big slurp right behind you here? Who doesn't want yeah, that, right? Exactly. Exactly. Like, that's cool. Who didn't hang that up on your wall? It's awesome. Um, but what, the other thing we're doing is, that, I don't know if you guys have seen the game here, but at the end they do these goofy dances. Played the game, yeah. Right, yeah. they do these goofy dances, right? So we got the, our toys now got all this articulation so you can put them in all these goofy poses, all these goofy dances and stuff. So not only can they look realistic, but you can also put them in the goofy dance poses if you want, uh, and they'll, they'll go good. The extra articulation we did so they could go into those, all the reviews have been, oh my gosh, McFarland. Because one of the things that people would hit us up on sometimes was we weren't putting enough articulation in our figures. Part of that was my bias of going, I wanted to keep the reality of the figures as close as possible. Super detail. Because yeah. you have to give away some of the reality, the 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 replicating of what is actually on screen if you put too many joints in it. But the customer is saying, we don't care, we'll take less reality and more fun. And so we go, okay, we'll end up doing it. And then you start giving them variety with scale. So we've got, we got some stuff that's a little bit bigger here. You know, some would come with props, here he is with the, with the shopping cart. I love uh, the glider. We got the, the yeah, the, yeah, the glider. 
So you got, you know, you got all the gliders that are coming down, but you can buy the glider, get your favorite character, put them in there so you can go like that. But then this thing not only shifts from left to right, but it also shifts here and here so you can make it look like he's banking and turning and you don't have to take it out and turn it and whatever else. You can just do it as you want. So anyways, a little bit of... I know it's for us geeks, older geeks, but we can still have a little bit of fun with it. So there's some toy kinetics in there. And then and then they've got some vehicles. They said they're going to be actually getting bigger vehicles and having more fun with them. We'll make sure that we get all that coming down the pipeline, get them as sort of fun and, and cheap uh, and, and value-wise as we can. We continue to do sports, right? So football, uh, basketball. Uh, we've been doing now, it seems like, for almost close to 20 years. Uh, we just got back into in a hybrid deal with the distribution of hockey and baseball again. Nice. I'm, I'm consulting back with them on the art side because because uh, although the ones we're distributing are pretty close to what we were doing, they're still, to my eye, go dudes, like we, we can get these better. We can get, and so these are really good. I still think we can get better, right? As a guy who played at a high level, I played Pac-10 baseball, right? We can we can nail these even even better than we've got. And and then some of the hockey stuff with some of the fun stuff that's there. And then on, on uh, Monday, we announced uh, the Harry Potter license. Yeah, I was gonna ask about that. So the Harry Potter license, we did that on, on Monday, and it's interesting because there's been this resurgent in Harry Potter licensing. People wanting to buy. It's 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 interesting. It was like, I call it near nostalgia because it's not that long ago. But you know that yeah. group is coming into their own. You know with their jobs but, but and being every spending. Every license has these ebbs and flows, right? Yeah. And and a but couple years ago, are, a couple years ago, I can't. You know, if we had put out Harry Potter, I don't know that we would have got the response we're getting now, yeah. where they're saying all the retailers are coming in saying that they're Harry Potter, which is you know the Wizarding World because it includes everything, not just Harry Potter, but everything. Uh, that they're saying that everything in the stores and retail is 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 going up. It's not like there's any new Harry Potter movies that are driving. I mean, there's a Fantastical Beast stuff, but again, you know, nobody's going to say. It's those kids that are 20 years older now. They're in their t- their late 20s, their early 30s are having kids. You know, they're they're enjoying that with their children. Well, here's what I, I would think. say: I don't care. They just want it, so yeah. I will serve it. Right? right? I just I'm my my father-in-law used to say to me is a very wor- good words of wisdom. He used to say, Todd, why is a cow? Basically, don't worry about it. It just is a cow. Stop it. So don't ask reasons why. If people want it, deliver it to them. Give it to them. Don't try to figure it out. Only only to the interest of can you replicate it and can you sustain it. That's the information. But if they want purple balloons with X's on it, don't ask why. Just sell them purple balloons with X's on it. So we're going. So, so there's an up on Harry Potter, and it's like why now compared to maybe two years ago? I don't know. You you could probably fill an hour show on the reason. I'm just going. They're hungry. Feed them, right? We're going to do it. I had a question on the Harry Potter stuff, which you probably can't answer. So it's okay if you can't. I'm going to do it. Are are you? So I know that the wands are very popular, especially yeah. kind of with electronics in them and stuff. Yeah. You don't traditionally put electronics and stuff. Are you going to do some kind of wand or some kind of wand specifically with electronics? In it? Um, not not a wand in and of itself. They have a license for somebody who does it, and I wish I had it because they sell millions of those wands, as you might imagine. So I'm like, I'll do a Newman. I didn't. I got there a little bit too late. So they have people that are filling that. Can we do it within the confines of our toy, so that when they go and you move the arm up, the contact comes, so it looks like it's glowing now and it's casting a spell. Yep. Right. So. There, we're we're gonna we're gonna present some of these crazy ideas. What we want to do at the beginning is just come out with the product to start with, gauge what the interest is, what they want, and then and then create different price points so that you go, okay, for some of you want to see something a little crazier, it's gonna cost a little bit more because again, you're putting in more parts, you're putting in electronic, then then we'll give those out there. The same would be true that on Tuesday when we announced another license, both of these from Warner Brothers, uh, the D- DC Multiverse. It's the same thing there, right? They're they're saying, Todd, in DC Multiverse, if you got a crazy idea that's in the confines of your contract, bring it to us. We're not saying we're going to do it. We're not saying we're going to approve it. We're not saying we're going to let you make it. But don't stop yourself 
from thinking, bring it, right? Which is which is super encouraging to a guy like me who just has 100 ideas every day. Todd, you're, you're awesome. Thank All you. Right. Thank good. you for doing it. Be good. You be Thank good. You, sir. Be right. terrific. Yeah. <laughs> you're the terrifics. There's an ending right there. He's Anthony. There you go. He's Todd. I'm Michael. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more on BeTerrific.com. And until next time, be terrific. Thank you.